Here's a basic Vue.js component that is communicating with an API. I have two libraries involved here, Vue.js core, and I have Vue resource, which allows me to do HTTP requests, basically. And on the right, just so you know what we're looking at is, basically you're adding a habit to a list of habits you want to break, and every time you have the urge to do one, click the button, and it increments. You want to remove a habit, click the X, it's gone. Right now, this is not making any API calls because I have it on CodePen, but I left all of the API call examples commented out in the functions. Every Vue.js component is essentially an object with properties that contain functions or more properties. It's very simple and straightforward. So to instantiate a basic component, the EL property, you're telling Vue.js where you want your component to instantiate. In this case, it's the div that has an ID of habits. Data is all the variables that your component will start out with. Declare them all here, give them default values. If you need to stub something out, this is where you would do it. Ready, this runs the moment that your component has been initialized and is ready to use. Here I'm running some, you know, start loading all the habits from the database, and I've created a timer so that every once in a while it will refresh itself, just in case you're using this on your phone and on the computer. Not doing any real-time stuff here, just a simple set timeout. Then we get to the meat of Vue.js, the methods. The methods control all the functions that the user will likely interact with as they're clicking buttons, adding things to the list, and deleting things. So in this case, every method that you want to have available in your view, you declare in the methods object. So delete habit contains the function that will run the logic that will eventually delete a habit and remove it from the view. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of functions that I am making requests to an API, and you'll also notice in this example I've stubbed out some of the stuff just because this is an example. So real quick, let's jump into the HTML so you can see what the views look like for Vue.js. At the top here, we have this CSRF token. If you noticed in the JavaScript, I have it grabbing that value and attaching it to the header of every HTTP request so that I am making valid calls to my API. If you see here, I have ID habits, and this is where your component will be instantiated. It will be interacting with everything inside of this container. Here I have that simple input where I'm using vModel to attach a variable to the value of this input and I have an event called vOn where when a user pushes a key and it releases it, run the function create habit when the key is enter. So they type push enter, it runs. And this is essentially how Vue.js works. You attach these directive attributes to elements and you give them new behavior and it has things like vrepeat, vtext, which I'll go over on in other videos.